hey what's up guys i am at here and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to install itunes on your mac os running mac os 10.15 or higher so as you know that itunes was removed from mac os catalina and uh, you have finder for iphones and for music you have a music app so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to install it on your mac os running mac os uh, catalina or higher so without any further delay let's get right into it but before we start if you're new here then make sure to hit the subscribe button and help me reach the next milestone and also hit the thumbs up button if this video helps you out and don't forget to comment down below with your opinion on the video so let's get right into it first of all you will need to download this file i'm gonna be leaving the link in the description box below so uncompress it and you will get a folder open it and here you will see two files it's a pdf file and here is the app file so you can also read this file if you face any of the errors after that right click and click on open so it's verifying the application then you will see that retroactive right click to open.app is an app downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it so what you will have to do is click on open and then if you see this then just click on run anyways or you can also update it to the latest version so then click on install because we're gonna be going with itunes and retroactive can also unlock final cut pro 7 logic pro 7 9 and fix iwork and macros mojave macros sierra to get started install macros mojave on a separate volume so i'm gonna select itunes and here you can select depending on the version so i'm going with this one the latest one then click on continue so uh, since i'm on mac os 12.0.1 i will have to authenticate with my login password first so click on authenticate and then enter your login password so pressing enter will take you to the next page where first of all it will download itunes then extract it then configure it and finally we'll install it so i'm gonna fast forward the process now so now it has almost finished downloading and the downloading is completed and now it's extracting itunes so just give it a few seconds so here you can see that finally it has finished installing itunes so just click on launch itunes and here you will see the itunes icon and itunes has launched on my macbook click on agree and just like uh, the older macOS version you can use itunes so let me go to launchpad you can also see the itunes icon here and let me just connect my iphone so here you can see that my iphone 13 pro has been connected to this macbook and you can sync and do everything like the older macOS versions so i hope that this video was of great help to you if this video was then make sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button and your comment would be highly appreciated you can also join me on my socials for daily updates and i will see you in the next one until next time this is imat peace out